I'll do it. I mean, I need that. <laughs> you ready? Let it run down a little bit on the Okay. We're also using combine tobacco on this farm. And as you can see, it's curing just as well in this barn, being more or less tangled up or in at all sorts of angles as it was in the other barn where it was hand primed. Uh, we've got just as good a color. It's killing out just as well. The stems are, well, some at the top, some at the bottom, some laying in that sideways, but it, it doesn't seem to make any difference how you prime the tobacco. The bulk barn's going to handle it uh, the same both ways. There is a little bit more fallout in the bottom of this barn with the, hand, with the uh, combine tobacco than there is the hand prime, but yet the tobacco still cures and kills out well in the bottom. Uh, you can see virtually no difference in, in the, the yellowing of the barn and, and the actual curing of the tobacco, so it will handle uh, combine tobacco very well. Well, I use the machine uh, to prime my bucket with, and you see it's all tangled up, heads up and down, and it cures just as well as it does in the barn straight. It's got a good color, have very little fallout, and one thing I like is these small racks. They're a lot easier to lose, and are uh, easy for that third tip. That's and uh, wife says she likes them a lot better than she does the large racks. And this is all the labor that I use as, as my family right here. I use a combine to prime my tobacco with, and as you see, it cures just as good as it does straight. It's tangled all up, heads, tails, every which way, and uh, it has very little fallout on the floor down here, and it cures just as well as it does in the rack. And another thing I like is these small racks. They're a lot easier to load. My wife says she likes them a lot better because they're easier to put on the third tier up there. And uh, this is all the labor that I hired to put my bike in, my family. I use the machine to prime my tobacco with, and uh, as you see it, do what? Huh? I didn't say I hired it. Then. I use a combine to prime my tobacco with. And you see it cures just as good as it does in the barn straight. And it's all tangled up, heads, tails, every which way. And uh, have very little fallout on the ground down here on the floor. Uh, it cures just as good as this does up in the right. And another thing I like is these small racks. They're easy to lose. My wife says she likes them because they're a lot easier to put on the third tier than the large heavy racks is. And this is all the labor I have to put in my box is my family right here. Well, I use the combine to prime my tobacco with, and as you see, it cures just as good as it does prime straight. Uh, the, it's tangled all up, the heads, tails, every which way, and I have very little fallout down here on the floor. It cures just as good down there as it does up here. And uh, the tobacco sells just as good as it's been a seller. And uh, I like these small racks because they're a lot, a lot easier to load and a lot easier to put on this uh, third tip up here. That's about all I'm thinking of to say right there. How many hands does it take to uh, fill the barn? Talk about it, why? And I don't use but five hands to fill the barn. We get a barn a day. <laughs> as you see, I prime out of back with a combine. Uh, it, it cures just as good as it does in the right straight. I have very little fallout on the floor. It cures just as good as it does in the right. And uh, it's selling just as good as it did last year. And uh, I like these small racks. They're a lot easier to load and a lot easier to put on that third tier up there. And uh, I only use five hands to fill the barn with. We get a barn a day. Twelve hours, and I feed them on up to a hundred. Like this, and hundred. Yeah. All right.
Bill, just kind of kind of be quiet for a minute. Well, try it one time, man. Ready? Can you can you always you would? You boy just back up to the front there for a few minutes. Why do I like the economy rack? One reason, because of the light weight. I can take this barn here of 210 racks, I can place them in the back of my pickup and go to the field and start racking the biker. While with your larger racks, uh, you can take a ton truck and still not haul them off. Now why do you like the economy rack? Why do I like the economy rack? Well, number one, because of the light weight, not bulky, I can take my 210 counter racks, which this barn here holds, and I can place them in the back of my pickup, and I can go to the field and start harvesting the biker. While other racks, the larger size and all, it'll take a ton truck to haul them to the field. Now, why do you like the counter racks? Why I like the counter racks? Well, first of all, because of the light weight. I can take my corner rack, which uh, this barn will hold 210 of them, I can place them all in the back of my pickup and go to the field and start harvesting the back. While with the other larger racks, it'll take a ton truck to haul them all. Why do you like the corner rack? Why well, I like the corner rack? Well, number one, because of the light weightness inside. Which my barn here, a hole consists of 210, and I can take them out of the barn, shoot the debacker up, and place all 210 in the back of my pickup, go to the field, and start harvesting the debacker. While on your larger racks, they take a ton of truck to haul them all. They're so bulky. And another feature why I like the corner rack is the locking feature. It snaps in snaps out very easily. In fact, my small son, he can handle them, open them, close them, just as good as I can. Another feature, I like the prongs. They all go inside of your framing. And you can handle your racks without getting probed in the hand, the fingers, and the arms. Durability. I think they're going to hold up nice, I don't know. Procure. So far, it's doing a good job for me. As you can see, some of the bikers. You want to know why I like my biker barn? I don't know why, to tell you the truth. What do you like about the cure, Clayro? What I like about the cure of the biker in my boat to back tobacco cure. Well, number one, I get a uniform cure. In other words, most of my tobacco is going to be about the same. And uh, it's pretty near the same all the way through, as you can see for yourself. And my boat to back tobacco cure, which consists of three tiers, and it takes knowing how to cure the cure. Why, what type of cure I get in my book to back the tobacco board? I get a uniform cure all the way through, as you can see on the tobacco right here before me. It's very easy to unload the barn. I'll send my crew to the field to start harvesting the tobacco, and I can shoot this barn up by myself in three quarters of a day. Uh, well...